We're still here outside of uh, Catherine McKenna's community office, but there's not very much community spirit here today uh, because uh, no one has been willing to meet with us. We've just been told by someone next door that apparently it's a training day for Catherine McKenna and her staff. We certainly hope it's a training day to learn about the Minamata Convention on mercury poisoning because that is something that Ms. McKenna has signed but is refusing to abide by, even though it's legally binding, with the Muskrat Falls Mega Dam. And I'm just going to go over here to a recently arrived constituent, uh, Sylvia. Does it shock you to, to find out that, I know you came here, you were hoping to meet with someone from uh, your MP's office. Uh, how yeah. does it feel to know that the office is closed with no notification whatsoever? Yeah, this is really disappointing. I mean, Catherine McKenna is my Member of Parliament and I was really hoping to be able to talk with her today about this. It, it, I just, I feel as though it's very irresponsible for someone who has got such a, a, a profound impact on the environment. Your decisions uh, are really important for us and having something not being vocal against mm -hmm. this dam being built mm -hmm. is really disappointing. Now, are you starting to see a little bit of a pattern? Because I understand you were hoping to take some, some of the pictures that are currently on Ms. McKenna's office windows now to MPs on May the 7th. Uh, what happened to you that day? Well, actually, that day I was arrested. You were arrested on Parliament Hill, eh? Yeah. And did that kind of shock you? Yes, it did. Why? Well, first of all, because Parliament Hill is on Algonquin land. And what we're doing here is sticking up for and uh, being helpful uh, to Indigenous peoples for their their uh, uh, their resistances. Mm -hmm. So not being able to go into Parliament was disappointing just on that alone. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was also it, it seems to me as if that's a very undemocratic way to deal with issues that are life and death, and not just for people but also for our environment. Not to be able to go in and talk to our members of parliament. Yeah. This is a democracy, so if it's a democracy, why did I need to be arrested in order to bring some news, some information about people who aren't being heard mm -hmm. at their province's level? Yeah. Are you going to follow up with Ms. McKenna? Yes, I will. Right on. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to speak to another constituent. Uh, Tricia, you're, you're here today. Um, how does it feel um, to know that your MP and her staff don't seem interested in meeting with you to talk about Muskrat Falls? She never seems to be interested when it comes to land protection and then she still endorses under the federal government this rhetoric of reconciliation, nation to nation, and specifically her um, protection of the environment, whatever that means to like uh, white settler politicians. Um, so I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm surprised. Um, I find it part of a normalized uh, violence that happens in these settler like colonial societies, um, so yeah, it's pretty basic. As uh, Sylvia said, it's an issue of life or death. And if it was our own family, or even a lot like uh, white people who were affected by this, it wouldn't be treated the same. If it was in an urban center, that would make a difference. So all mm -hmm. of these people, like, are scared and caring about their children, future generations, and. We talk about reconciliation, but only about things that are when the harm is done. We're not necessarily seem to be interested about things that are happening now. Like, mm -hmm. will we care about that once it has become similar to Grassy Narrows? And mm -hmm. we don't even care about Grassy Narrows either. Mm -hmm. um, so you're seeing a pattern here where basically we're, we're more than happy to feel, feel badly about what happened in the past, but we're not doing anything to prevent what's going on right now. Right. Yeah. And, and so for you, when, when you see a, a locked door for, for an MP, you said it's, it's pretty normalized and stuff. What, what do you think it's going to take, especially for those of us who are settlers on this land, to, to force these politicians to respect, the even by their own colonial laws, whether it is UNDRIP, whether it is uh, the Minamata Convention, they're, they're not respecting their own laws. What, what's it going to take? I think all over Turtle Island, um, settlers are going to have to support tangibly um, land protectors. Uh, this is happening from the west to the east. Uh, one thing that we'll have to do also is to look at how the Army and the RCMP are also involved in upholding all of this. We always 
um, yell and go look at the politicians, but all of these institutions are working together. So the army has a really good PR team and we don't see their involvement. And they have been involved in um, like shutting down the resistance at Muskrat Falls mm -hmm. with a lot of RCMP forces. So that's that's a problem. We need to be able to see those connections mm -hmm. and um, critique them like at the root, right? So those are only some of the people. Like the army was involved <laughs> in in um, against these people because they're seen as a threat only because they're protecting their land, uh, their community, their land. Yeah. Um, which for some people, like we don't really really sometimes understand uh, coming from like Western um, views, like it's part of their uh, responsibilities, right? Um, mm -hmm. So that's really important to remember. People are not just doing that just to be rebellious or mm -hmm. because they don't have anything to do. There's there's a lot at stake here. Mm -hmm. There's generational knowledge. There's like whole worlds that are at stake and life again. Um, so yeah, I think land protection. We need to start framing it as land protection. Look at how it's being criminalized uh, the book that you mentioned a lot of people are being criminalized for upholding um, their responsibilities mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I think that's a start yeah but we'll have to get together again mm -hmm. um, again I'd like to repeat that on May 7 some of us were arrested on the Parliament Hill that was my first time um, being arrested um, it would have been very differently if there wasn't like a lot of media, uh, if there wasn't a lot of white people present. Um, but the thing is that people get criminalized um, at different, like different level mm -hmm. for for trying to bring about this message. Yeah. Um, and face like consequences, not just being arrested, right? They have mm -hmm. the charges. This is meant to stop people from from resisting yeah. or to be afraid of even coming to a direct action. Mm -hmm. People don't like to come to direct action because there's so much police presence yeah. all the time. There's almost almost as much police presence as us. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah. Great, thank you so much. We're just going to close here today and say um, if you want to stay in touch, like the Facebook page, Ontario Muskrat Solidarity Coalition. Certainly go to the Labrador Land Protectors Facebook page, like that, and you'll be kept up to date on all the issues. If you want to be part of our Partnership Solidarity Campaign, where you actually will meet and stay in touch with somebody in Labrador, you get in touch with TASC. T-A-S-C at web.ca and we'll hook you up with a Labrador land protector because the more we get to know each other, the more we realize the human impact of what is going on in these communities, the more we will be certainly motivated on our end because it's not just a political issue, it's a personal issue. We are all part of one another. We are all connected to one another, part of the web of life. And so we're going to leave all of this stuff on the walls of Ms. McKenna's office. We'll certainly be back again. And in the meantime, if you see any of this kind of stuff around, it's not fake stuff. It's not fake news. This is what is coming to Muskrat Falls. That is why we were here today. It is a clear violation of the Minamata Convention on Mercury. And Catherine McKenna needs to abide by that convention. Otherwise, she might be brought up before some kind of international tribunal on charges for violations of international law. So we want to wave to everybody in Labrador who is watching and to say that you are in our hearts, you are in our minds, you are in our spirits. Uh, we're sending love from Ottawa and we will be back.